you might be tempted to buy the new iPad Pro with 2TB storage and 16GB of RAM. But in this video, I'll give you 3 reasons why 2TB storage option is such a scam. And at the end of this video, I'll share with you a secret tip on how to get the same 2TB storage at a much cheaper price. Let's dive in. At number 1, we got the price iPad Pro 2TB option comes at a jaw-dropping price. When you look closer, you can basically buy two iPad Pro's base model for the price of one. Let that sink in. But many of you may think, what if I need more storage down the line? Well, if you wanted more storage, you can still hook up a USB-C Gen 2 external SSD costing pennies compared to a 2TB upgrade option. Many great YouTubers will tell you how Final Cut Pro and Logic Pros are coming to the iPads and that they are so excited that they have pre-ordered the 2TB option. First of all, no one gives a f about Final Cut Pro. Everyone who watches YouTube are not content creators. It doesn't matter. By the way, if you want to edit videos and make music, get a laptop. It is much cheaper and more powerful. An iPad Pro is not a laptop replacement. In an interview, Apple's senior vice president of worldwide marketing not only confirmed that there are no plans to merge the iPad and the Mac into a single product line, he also denied that the two are in direct competition with each other. Many were doing head spin and handstand when Photoshop came into the iPad in 2020 and after using for a day they realized Photoshop for iPad was not worth it and neither was swallowing tight pods. Until Apple removed the limitations on their OS, you will never get the full featured apps. By the way, if you are getting some value out of this video, please hit the like button. Give me more RAM, give me more RAM. This is the slogan of a typical Android phone. But this iPad runs on iPad OS and this OS is a real miser in a good way. Just look at the brother, the iPhone 12, which is running on 4 GB RAM in 2021 and still whooping OnePlus Pros behind with 12 GB RAM. iPad OS or iOS is hardwired and optimized so that it gives the maximum performance for the least amount of RAM. Again, when you watch these YouTube videos, many screamed with joy when Apple announced the 16GB of RAM. You are screaming for what? To play Fruit Ninja on iPad? Whenever a developer submits an iPad app, it's well optimized for the devices. Whether you have 8GB RAM iPad or a 16GB iPad, it doesn't matter. After all, it's an iPad app and not a Mac app. Moreover, there are no apps right now which hogs all the RAM in the iPad. I'm talking to you Chrome, you have been a very bad bad boy. I'm a bad boy. And don't get me started on cellular iPad. Does 5G even exist? All the iPhones come with personal hotspot function. We can share our iPhone's data with an iPad and to top that, we always have our phone on us, whichever place we go. Speaking about places, who is stepping out during this pandemic with their chest out and head held high? Public gatherings are curved, working from home is a norm now and buying a cellular iPad makes no sense. Unless you are Apple, take a listen to the explanation on why you need a 2TB iPad. You can keep up to 60,000 pro raw photos at your fingertips or up to 220 hours of 4K HDR video content with you wherever you go. Hold on a sec. Call me old fashioned, but I thought we are in 2021 where everyone streams movies and shares their Netflix password. Finally, the secret tip, if you want more storage on your iPad, get the base model and use iCloud. It is not only cheaper, but you pay for the storage you use. By the way, my next video will be about the benefits of using iCloud. So make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell notification. Speaking about secrets, there are many secrets about the new iPad Pro that Apple did not share with you. And I made a video revealing them all. Click here to watch it right now and I'll see you there.